chapter 17 direct and indirect speech learning time direct speech there are two ways of saying what someone has said direct speech and indirect or reported speech when we quote speaker's actual word it is called direct speech example a ashok said i am busy b tom said i am not free c she said to me are you a teacher d asha said i have read the book in direct speech when we do not quote the speaker's actual word rather we tell it in our own words it is called in direct speech example a ashok said that he was busy b tom said that he was not free c she asked if i was a teacher d asha said that she had read the book direct speech points to remember 1 direct speech is placed within inverted commas 2 direct speech is always preceded by a comma 3 in direct speech the first word always starts with a capital letter let me answer manisha says i am honest is it direct speech or indirect speech indirect speech points to remember 1 indirect speech is not put within inverted commas 2 reported speech is preceded by the conjunction that if or whether rules for changing direct speech into indirect speech 1 when the reporting verb is in the present or future tense the tense of reported speech is not changed example a rakesh says i am honest direct rakesh says that he is honest indirect b yogesh says rohan is very poor direct yogesh says that rohan is very poor indirect c the principal will say tomorrow is a holiday direct the principal will say that tomorrow is a holiday indirect d madhu says sashi will write a story direct madhu says that sashi will write a story indirect d if the reporting verb is in the past tense the verb in the reported speech is changed into past tense as shown in the table below direct speech indirect speech simple present verb to be is am are has have simple past verb to be was were had present indefinite first form of verb plus s e s as required past indefinite second form of verb present continuous is am are plus verb plus ing past continuous was were plus verb plus ing present perfect has have plus third form of verb past perfect had plus third form of verb present perfect continuous has have plus been plus verb plus ing past perfect continuous had been plus verb plus ing simple past second form of verb past perfect had plus third form of verb past continuous was verb plus verb plus ing past perfect continuous had been plus verb plus ing can could may might will would shall should word example direct speech in direct speech one he said i was not telling a lie he said that he had not been telling a lie two my brother said i will go to shimla tomorrow my brother said that he would go to shimla the next day three i said i can speak tamil fluently I said that I could speak Tamil fluently. Four. He said it may rain today. He said that it might rain that day. Five. My father said I have done my work. My father said that he had done his work. Six. Kamal said they wrote letters. Kamal said that they had written letters. Three. If the reported speech relates to universal truths, proverbs, and historical facts, it remains unchanged. direct speech in direct speech one he said the sun rises in the east he said that the sun rises in the east two the guru said god is one the guru told that god is one three the teacher said india got freedom in 1947 the teacher said that india got freedom in 1947 four our principal said man is mortal Our principal said that man is mortal. 
Therefore, the words showing nearness of time or place in direct speech are changed into the words showing distance of time or place in indirect speech as follows: direct speech, indirect speech, this, that, these, those, here, there, now, then, hence, then, thus, so, today, that day, tonight, that night, tomorrow, the next day, yesterday, the day before, the previous day. last night the previous night next the following hereby thereby a go before note in the assertive sentences the reporting verb said to is changed into told five for changing interrogative sentences into indirect speech the following rules are to be followed one in reporting a question in the indirect speech the introductory verb is changed into ask inquire demand or some other words having a similar meaning to using whether and if whether or if is used after an introductory verb when the direct question has yes or no for an answer three the interrogative form is changed into the assertive form four the same word is used to introduce the reported speech if the question begins with an interrogative pronoun or adverb such as what who which whom when where how and why example a gautam said to me do you play cricket direct gautam asked me if i played cricket indirect b aman said to me have you finished your work direct aman asked me if i had finished my work indirect c the teacher said to me what is your name direct the teacher asked me what my name was indirect six imperative sentences in reporting commands and request the indirect speech is introduced by some verbs expressing commands or request and the imperative mood is changed into the infinite example a he said to her please wait here till i come back direct he requested her to wait there till he came back indirect b the mother said to sohan go away direct the mother ordered sohan to go away in direct seven optative sentence the reporting verbs change into wish or pray etc the optative form changes into assertive form and the conjunction that introduce the reported speech example a he said to amit may you live long direct he wished that amit might live long in direct b nandan said to him may god bless you direct nandan prayed that god might bless you in direct eight exclamatory sentences one the introductory verb is changed into exclaim cry or some other similar verbs two the words showing exclamation such as alas hurray etc are omitted three the sign of exclamation is omitted example a tarun how clever he is direct tarun exclaimed that he was very clever indirect b she said bravo you have done well direct she applauded them saying that they had done well indirect practice time change the following sentences into indirect speech a he said five comes after four he said that five comes after four b they said to us delhi is the capital of india they told us that delhi is the capital of india c mohit said i have to go there today mohit said that he has to go there today d the farmer told his son that he should work hard so that they may get good crops e the hare said to tortoise we are good friends and we shall never leave alone the hare told the tortoise that they were good friends and they should never leave alone f the mother said i'll give you a doll the mother said that she would give him a doll g sunil said to sanjay i have won the match sunil told sanjay that he had won the match h she said i am very thirsty she said that she was very thirsty to change the following sentences into indirect speech a he said to me are you leaving this place now He asked me whether I was leaving that place then. B. She said to me, "Is my brother here?" She asked me if her brother was there. C. Tommy said to Sme, "Why don't you come with me?" Tommy asked me why he did not come with him. D. 
ਹਰਪ੍ਰੀਤ ਸੈਟ ਟੂ ਕੁਲਦੀਪ ਵਾਈ ਡੂ ਯੂ ਕੀਪ ਵਾਚਿੰਗ ਕਾਰਟੂਨਸ ਦਾ ਹੋਲ ਡੇ ਹਰਪ੍ਰੀਤ ਆਸਕ ਕੁਲਦੀਪ ਥੈਟ ਵਾਈ ਡਿਡ ਹੀ ਕੀਪ ਵਾਚਿੰਗ ਕਾਰਟੂਨਸ ਦਾ ਇੰਟਾਇਰ ਡੇ E the teacher said to the boy what is your name and where do you live the teacher asked the boy what is his name and where does he live F Rakesh said to Rajat may i have your pen Rakesh asked Rajat that can he give his pen G the stranger said to me can you tell me the way the stranger asked me that can i tell him the way H she said is the tea ready now she asked if the tea is ready then i he said where are they going to visit the red fort i asked if they were going to the red fort j the teacher said to the boy why are you not going home the teacher asked the boy why he is not going home three change the following into indirect speech a she said stand up she said to stand up b he said wait here till i come He said to wait here till he comes. See, Rina said to her maid, "Don't stand here." Rina said to her maid, "Do not to stand here." D, I said to Viru, "Let us go to the park." I told Viru to go to the park. E, he said, "May you succeed, my son." He wished success to my son. F, I said to him, "Please give me a pen." I requested him to give me a pen. G he said to us work hard he asked us to work hard H the old woman said alas i am ruined the old woman exclaimed that she was ruined I she said hurray i have won the competition she was happy to win the competition J he said goodbye my friends he said goodbye to his friends K he said hey you have come He said, "He has he has come." L the tourist said, "What a beautiful place." The tourist exclaimed that the place was beautiful. Fun with grammar. Complete the following dialogue by filling the blanks with the correct option given in the brackets. Shopkeeper, what can I do for you, sir? Sudhir, tell us something about a good cell phone. Shopkeeper, would you tell us about the range of price? Sudhir, it should be neither too expensive nor too economical. Shopkeeper, which color? Sudhir, dark green. Shopkeeper, okay, you can take it tomorrow. The shopkeeper asked with respect what he could do for him. Sudhir informed him to tell them something about a good cell phone. The shopkeeper wanted to know if he would tell them about the range of prices. Sudhir informed the shopkeeper that it should be neither too expensive nor too economical. The shopkeeper further wanted to know what color he wanted. Sudhir replied that he preferred dark green. The shopkeeper understood. Sudhir selected it and requested him to take it tomorrow. Teachers note discuss the various types of speech with your children teach them how to use speech